guys look at those dark i don't know whether you can see them look at them those are two ducks a female one and a male one you see this is the beginning of 2023 i want you to watch this space at the end of this year this whole house will be filled with these ducks guys trust me trust the trust the saying of beginning small but thinking big i'll be letting you know about this duck project guys so we began with that sample and we know how we get the knowledge and the experience of knowing how to look after ducks so we began it at this beginning of this year i'll let you know how we progress look at our farm during the dry season guys so during the dry season this is when we try to cultivate the land like digging with that so that that grass dries up like you see in the background so it is drying up then it will turn it into manure so when the rains come we shall have manure and fertile soil where we shall be able to plant now during that season guys so welcome to Hanimi's world guys how are you my people hope you're doing okay welcome to my channel welcome to the channel that inspires you to do business in agri to do business in agriculture guys so if you are interested in farming videos if you are interested in those videos that show you how you can exist in your african village life as you carry out farming guys please consider to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so that youtube notifies you when i upload more videos in today's video guys i would love to talk about why goats don't give birth two times in a year so when we're doing goat farming guys they tell us that goats give birth two times in a year yes they are right according to their calculations guys that the gestation period for the goat takes five months and we are expecting these goats to get pregnant then uh, spend five months pregnant then they give birth then after giving birth they're supposed to spend like two months for them to re get pregnant or for them to get on heat maximum two months for them to get on heat and uh, to get pregnant again so those are seven months so when they get pregnant again they again spend like five other months uh for them to, to give birth so in calculation those are approximately 12 months to make it uh one year so in a year that is where they say that goats are supposed to give birth two times but according to my experience because this channel gives you experiences at my farm or at the surrounding farms as i told you i'm surrounded by other goat farmers here in my area so according to our experience in this area these goats are not are not doing that not all the goats but some goats there are some goats that are not getting pregnant like two times in a year i talked about it in some video of mine and most of you were coming to me saying that no her name goats are supposed to give birth two times a year it is a must so guys these are the points why some goats don't give birth two times in a year. Before I pop into the point why goats don't give birth two times in a year, guys, I want to show you something. Here we, we do both sheep and goat farming, but this we, we rear both sheep and goat farming. But we take our sheep early enough to the what? To to the field they eat as they wait for the goats because these sheep are slow eaters guys they eat very slowly so right now they are out there browsing all eating as the goats are as the goats are here waiting for their time to go to the field so when the goats it's the time for the goats to go outside to the field they will come and join the sheep so this sheep begin hours before the goats guys you have to note that the pace at which the goats feed is not the same as the sheep so the sheep go earlier than the goats guys so that is the point i wanted to make so guys back to the point but two times in the year because number one because of their nature i always give an example of us women all men we 
can be all of us without on family planning we are women or we are both but we don't give birth because of the way we give birth because of the, our nature the other one gives birth quickly than the other despite the fact that they are, you are not all on family planning so you can get some nature of goats when they are just naturally just like that they are not so quick to go on heat they are just like that naturally even if you feed them even if you do watch to them it is in their nature it doesn't mind it doesn't matter whether they are boas or savannas or karahari or locals this point cut across whether they are locals or boas or exotic okay it doesn't matter it is in their nature that that goat is slow at getting on heat or that goat is slow at giving birth so if you have such goats they will always be slow at giving birth at the end of the year they cannot at the end of the day they cannot give birth two times in a year so another point why goats don't give birth two times in a year is that some hmm, is that some people neglect their the, what the nutritional values more so in the free range system as i told you guys so you don't care what type of grasses they are eating we don't know we just let the, our animals go out there and browse in the fields we don't know whether they are eating enough proteins whether they're eating enough what enough carbohydrates or what so i urge you farmers always supplement them with nutritional values nutritional grasses guys plant pro grasses with proteins as i mentioned in one of my videos so that when they come back you supplement them with other feeds others you can decide to make silage so whenever all in the morning they, they eat silage before they go to the food so that you they get a balanced diet at the end of the day they can easily produce so another point is the bucks guys that is why i made a video why you need to separate these bucks you separate these bucks so that when they come back to to watch to to mate with these animals they are already they have that thirsty they can really mate with these goats and make them pregnant so easily so some people don't separate these bucks and they are always in these animals so they become kind of redundant eh, to make these animals pregnant so another point about bucks which is also the nature of the bucks there are some bucks that have a lot of libido and at the end of the day they will make these these goats pregnant earlier enough and there are some bucks that are slow so you have to you have to monitor your bucks guys they can be so slow to to watch to to make these animals go and hit at the second time of them going at the same time second time of them giving birth so i had that problem guys and i had a buck that you know, long time ago i had a buck yes I had a buck that could make these goats pregnant at the first time, but on the second time it will delay, it will it will repeat yeah, making these goats to go on heat after like three months. So the calculation didn't match up. So look at these bucks. Some bucks get just tired and you need to just change them. That's why I always tell you don't be with these bucks for a long period of time. Change them and monitor them. So the buck, the kind of the buck you have also leads to that then another point uh, is supplement farmers don't supplement these animals with mouth vitamins with mineral blocks guys supplement them with mouth vitamins mouth vitamins help to boost their metabolism guys so and also uh, these salts helps them to grow so well and also be healthy so that they can easily get pregnant and another point is guys always deworm these animals guys animals with a lot of worms cannot function like those ones with three of worms guys so these worms make the animals so uncomfortable and at the end of the day they cannot perform at the end of the day they cannot go on heat to produce two times in a year so guys you see that that goat that is urinating there we call it Nalongo. That goat is a, one of the examples of those goats that can easily and quickly give birth. It has get, it is number one here in giving birth. It always gives birth quickly. Yes, it is feeding the same. Uh, we look after them all together in the same way. But for it naturally, it is just 
it it gives birth so easily it is among those goats that i have for example so i'm stri- emphasizing the other point of the nature of the goat in, in the reproductive nature of the goat eh? so there are those goats guys that can easily give birth that is an example so the last point i want to emphasize is these goats don't ca- cannot easily give birth two times in a year because if under normal circum- under the circumstances that you've been having outbreaks all disease outbreaks all different kinds of diseases guys so these animals need some time to recapture or they need some time to uh, get well so during that time of getting well they will they will what they will become redundant at getting uh, on being on heat so at the end of the day they cannot make it um, in that period of time or they cannot make it on, on producing two times in a year so when you have a disease uh, treat that those diseases the outbreak of that disease then after treating give them some mouth vitamin and give them some time to come on heat don't expect animals that have been sick to easily come on heat those are the factors that affect them so at the end of the day your calculation as a, fa- as a farmer cannot add up that now in good farming that is what they tell us. So you come in goat farming because they've told you goats give birth two times in a year. So you are going to have to start with your set of goats. By the time it is after one year, they have, have given birth like two times in a year, guys. So it's not the case. And that is what I always tell farmers. So you have to put in place those those unseen factors that I've talked about that don't calculate your farm, goat farming business thinking that these goats will give birth two times in a year like it or not a farmer you will face diseases in your in your crop whether you deworm whether you spray whether you vaccinate those diseases must come hmm? they must come though if you are deworming and spraying and um, uh, vaccinating the diseases will not be so harsh like those ones that are not doing that so at the end of the day you will face these factors in your crawl meaning that somehow somewhere in a year you cannot not all your goats will give birth two times in a year so that is the point guys so guys please consider those points if you want to maximize your goats so well and your profits if you want to make them produce two times in a year, because when they produce two times in a year, you are making profit. So if you want to maximize your profit, put in place those points that I've talked about to make sure that your gods can give birth two times in a year. So guys, thank you for watching Hanimi's World. If you've gotten something in this video, guys, please consider to subscribe down below, share my videos, let's have a conversation on this topic i know guys comment down below i have very many people that still say for them they are gods give birth like all of them give birth two times in a year guys comment down below let me know your experience guys comment down below and add on some points that i've left out why gods don't give birth three two times in a year thank you for watching her name is what bye bye